Who's there? Show me your pass. You certainly don't look like an attacker. If you want to enter the shelter, you'll have to register and get checked first. Come with me. I'll take you to the inspection. Over here. Right here, please. We appreciate your cooperation. Welcome to the Raven Shelter. You need to be inspected and registered before you can go inside. Multiple wounds? Were you attacked by zombies? Dr. Michael, please come to the entrance. Someone is wounded. new survivor? Don't be nervous. This is the Raven Shelter. You're safe here. Since this is your first time in the shelter, we need to perform a health and safety check for security purposes. I hope you don't mind. Thank you. Oh, by the way, this is Dr. Michael. He'll be in charge of your checkup and treatment. Hi, I'm Dr. Michael, and I manage all medical operations in the Raven Shelter. Sometimes I also travel to other outposts to provide medical support. Let me take a look at your wounds. Well, nothing serious, just a few scratches. All you need is a bandage and a good night's rest. Follow me. I'll find you a place to rest. This way. Slow down. I'm not as young as I used to be. Look at this place. <laughs> Can you believe that at first there was nothing here but a pile of rubble? I still remember those days. Cain, Sherry, Catherine. The Ravens built all this shelter a new purpose. There was no farmland or pasture along the river, only wilderness. It was Cain who led everyone to find seeds and livestock. I don't know how many all-nighters Catherine had to pull to get the signal tower and the helicopters up and running. She might not talk much, but she gets stuff done. We even have a school that Sherry built. She's the principal and all the children adore her. You can stay here tonight. I'm sure you'll love it. Also need this device. Let's see if I can find it. Geez, I really am getting old. My memory isn't what it used to be. I think I left it in the living room. It's a really cool device. Once you register, you'll be able to check every single thing about your physical condition. In many cases, this device might even be more important than your weapons. It should be on the coffee table in the living room. From the survival gauge? 
day. Ugh, what a day. Now, let me take a bath and get to bed. It's been a while since I had a hot bath. I'll definitely sleep well tonight. <sighs> I'm so tired. That bed looks really comfy. This is amazing. I feel alive again. My numbers should be pretty good now. Ugh, my stomach's a little upset. Time for a bathroom break. My clothes! What are all these stains? Sand, grease, mud... Well, I guess my expedition yesterday was pretty eventful. God, I can't stand this anymore. I should wash up. Uh, these have to be washed. I think the washing machine's downstairs. still works? I'm not dreaming, am I? Glad you had a good night's sleep. I had to be on guard all night in case you did anything crazy. If you did, I would have busted in your room like bam, bam, bam. I'm not kidding. Outside of this shelter, there's a lot of crazy shit trying to sneak in here. But you don't look like one of them. <laughs> Welcome to the Raven's Shelter. I heard you and Sherry are friends. If you're looking for her, just follow the road to the right. She should be at the Memorial Wall.
I didn't expect to see you again so soon. You should rest more. You were hurt pretty bad. <sighs> Just a few scratches. No big deal. What are you all doing here? Is that Kane over there? We're getting ready for the memorial service later today. You can go talk to Kane. He's the leader of the Raven Squad. And the shelter. Good to see you again. As the leader of the shelter, I'd like to officially extend my warmest welcome to you. Soon you'll find that Raven shelter is a good place. It's different from any shelters you've stayed at before. We're holding a ceremony for those who died during the Lost City battle. Please take a flower. By the way, something I need to talk with you about. Meet you at the command center after the service. Saying goodbye to even more of our friends. I can't remember how many times we've had to do this in the past four years. But it never gets easier. When I decided to become a medic and study under Dr. Michael, I was hoping to help more people. But there's still so many I couldn't save. There's a lot I can do in the shelter. But once we step outside, we have to guard against our own kind too. Former gangsters, criminals, and mercenaries. We've lost a lot of good people to them. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have brought this up. Life is hard for everyone. I shouldn't let this negativity get to me. No worries, Sherry. We all have those moments. If talking about it helps, then I'm happy to share some of your work. Thanks for saying that. I feel better already. I applied for access to the shelter's radio station for you yesterday. You just need to talk to our communications specialist, Matilda, to get on the channel. Are you the survivor from the Lost City? You made it. I'm glad I kept calling on the radio yesterday. Before I add you to the channel, let me tell you about the Ravens. What would you like to know? This place used to be one of the temporary rescue camps. Kane, Catherine, and Dr. Michael were all serving here. When the disaster broke out four years ago, they lost communication with the headquarters. But refugees kept coming in, so Kane led the refugees and soldiers to build this place into a shelter. I was one of the refugees. If they didn't take me in, I would have been wolf meat a long time ago. At first, things were really tough. We were always short of food, medicine, and weapons. And we had to fend off all those... things... out there. But we pulled through. We managed to expand the shelter to the size it is today. We even have a stable power supply, and tap water. The shelter, founded by Kane, started off as the Raven Squad. The members were Sherry, Catherine, Roman, Tang, and Yevgeny. But Yevgeny went missing during a mission. He looked scary, but he was actually very kind. Anyway, maybe Kane will tell you more. I don't know why, but I've got a feeling he thinks pretty highly of you. By the way, don't forget to tune in on the radio. The set's right there on the table. Be sure to say hi to everyone when you're connected.
It's been four years since the disaster hit. I'd expected things to calm down by now, but as you can see, the world is still going through radical changes. Zombies are getting more restless, and they're growing in number. It means a second round of mutation is happening right now. Those crooks and bandits out there have also acquired more firepower and fortified their bases. All these things are pointing to a new crisis. The Ravens need people we can rely on more than ever. From the very bottom of my heart, I hope that you will join the Raven squad and become one of us. That's great. Again, I get that this must feel very sudden, but we really need you. The survive We don't want to become thugs and murderers, but we have no intention of losing our home either. So we and all the survivors have to work together and form a strong alliance. This is the only way to protect ourselves and give everyone a chance to live. But trust is a luxury in the world today. I'm sure you've experienced that. No one wants to trust anyone other than themselves. An alliance? It's almost laughable. So we have to prove it with what we do. Whatever the cost might be. We're fighting for the future of the entire human race. I just received a distress call from Redwoods. They're under siege by zombies. If we come to their aid, they'll be willing to strengthen the bond between us and consider forming an alliance. I hope you'll be willing to protect Sherry and assist the Redwoods outpost with her. There's still some time before you have to move out. You can go talk to Catherine. She's our tactical expert. She'll be able to give you some pointers. Welcome to the Ravens. I look forward to good news from you. I'm Catherine, former rescue squad lieutenant, currently in charge of the shelter's defense and tactical operations. I heard about what you did in the junkyard, so I trust that you know your firearms. But since you're new to the Ravens, I think that there are some other things you should know. Besides Raven, there are a number of smaller shelters scattered across the continent, and we call them outposts. Like the Redwood outpost that you're going to. All the outposts are expanding and developing, so you can get all kinds of missions from them. But the more lucrative missions, such as clearing a nearby zombie lair, will only be available after you earn an outpost trust. Well, that's probably enough information for now. Take this outfit. It'll help you adapt to the Redwood Forest's environment. You can also get ammo and food supplies from the goods merchant and Linda. Monitor your supplies through the survival gauge. Catherine's right. Dangerous everywhere. I have to be prepared. Outside, only trust your weapon and your dog. Welcome, buddy. Hi, I'm Clint, your friendly neighborhood merchant. If you need supplies, I'm your guy. Let me guess. You're new to the shelter, right? It's your lucky day. We have great deals today. If you buy 500 or more bullet shells, we'll give you the gunpowder for free. You will need both to craft your own bullets.
I've got enough ammo. Still need food and water. I hope these will help you. What are you looking to buy? Welcome, welcome, our new friend. These supplies are for you, free of charge. But that's a perk for new members only. You're on your own for supplies from now on. You can probably imagine how tough it is to sustain a shelter this size in an environment like this. Captain Kane needs to see you. Please go to the command center. Looks like you're ready. Sherry's waiting for you to hang her. Looking forward to your safe return. Remember, hope always survives. Dr. Michael left for the Redwood Outpost at dawn. I heard things are bad there. Let's move out as soon as we can. Before we get to Redwoods, let me tell you more about the place. They often have missions posted. I'm sure you'll cross paths with them again in the future. Redwood Outpost used to be a wood processing plant near the logging camp. After the disaster broke out, the workers who survived came together and built a fortified outpost using the timber available. The Redwood folks are skilled builders and woodworkers. They make sturdy defensive walls and building materials, which are essential resources to the Raven Shelter, as well as the key to defending against zombies. this operation. The outpost had been under siege before. But zombies in this situation sounds definitely more serious this time. Anyone still fight? The gate's about to be breached. We need backup. Finally here. Where's everybody else? Either Kane has gone mad, or you're out of your mind. Here, take this decoy bomb. Use it to attract the ordinary zombies.
thanks for everything you did for us. We've decided to gift you the homestead on the north side of the outpost. It's a new area that we're expanding to. It's close to the river and has lots of animals and plants. Zombies aren't sighted as much up there either. We all want you to have it. Please. Looks like Redwood Outpost wanted to build a new residential zone here. But I wonder how long it will take them to recover this time. There's still a lot of wood and equipment, so we might be able to make something. <laughs> 